More details about St. Louis's soccer stadium construction will be released from team officials tomorrow. And tonight there's already excitement about some changes near that site. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal is live with a look at one of the changes. Jeff. We are on Market Street. We have some incredible views for you of some of the work that's going around this area. This stadium soccer site, yes, St. Louis SC expected to release more information about what its campus will look like. That information coming out tomorrow. You can see some of the roadblocks here on Market Street. People anxious to hear about what's coming next. They're also excited about a change related to another nearby project. Bomberita Automotive Group Sky Fox over the stadium construction zone. MLS soccer in St. Louis expected to start in 2023. It feels like a long wait for bars and restaurants hit hard by the pandemic as office workers stayed home and sporting events were either canceled or have limited fan capacity. We have uh, multiple stores around the area in the metro area and by far downtown has been affected the most. Cybergs on Market Street has weathered those challenges. The family is betting the wait will be worth it once two big projects, the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency relocation and the soccer stadium project are completed. We are really looking forward to having all the construction done and in, in, in the end product. And there's excitement about news that a highway exit from Interstate 64 will allow drivers to connect with 22nd Street and travel north to market. That change, according to city officials, is part of the NGA project aimed at managing traffic in the area as approximately 3,000 workers will be at the St. Louis site. They can't all come down Jefferson. So I think that that's the big change we're all going to see that's really exciting for the downtown, to, you know, getting people in and out of there. Cybergs has already made changes to welcome more customers with garage door style doors to a patio area, allowing them to increase outdoor capacity. We're waiting for the day that the soccer starts and Cardinals get playing again and people can go to the stadium, go to the Enterprise Center. So we're really excited. And again, soccer officials releasing more information tomorrow. We'll let you know what they have to say. Reporting live from downtown West, Jeff Berthal, Fox 2 News.